Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. As we told you in the 6 p.m. newscast, an independent CPA has recently completed an audit of the Lafayette Consolidated Government. Earlier this year, the Louisiana Legislative Auditor's Office launched its own investigation into Lafayette Mayor President Josh Guillory after concerns about the mayor's drainage contracts surfaced. The audit has 29 findings, 12 of which were repeated from last year. The violations included purchasing issues, a public works project without a signed contract, and a $19.8 million overdraft, among others. News 10's Rodrigo Taylor is in the studio. She spoke with the interim chief financial officer who reacts to these findings. Rodrigo. Thank you. Lo Duyon told me LCG has addressed every finding. While they could not go over all 29 of them, he talked about several where they disagreed with the findings. One of the things that the uh, auditors, when they, when, they, when they talk about it, they always say uh, may have violated or they may have not complied with Louisiana public bid law. So it's not necessarily... Um, we violated them or we, you know, we broke the law or whatever. But regardless, we, we uh, answered every one of those, um, especially the ones that we disagreed with. And the audit period is from the beginning of November 2021 until the end of October of last year. Lo Duyon, the interim chief financial officer, says out of the 29 findings, there were nine they disagreed with. The ones that were really egregious were the ones that, 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 uh, they spoke about possibly violating public bid laws or Louisiana revised statutes or even a home rule charter. Duyon spoke on the findings, including an overdraft of nearly $20 million related to a grant for the construction of detention ponds. But we have a checking account with 88 different funds in them. Some of those funds go negative, and that's the, that's the grant funds because we spend the money first. It doesn't overdraft the account because... It's just a pool of all these funds that make up the account. He explained the reason behind the findings of improper use of cell tax from 1961 and 1985. There are certain things that you can actually spend money for if it uh, benefits the city of Lafayette. It doesn't have to be in the city, but if it, it, it benefits the city, it can be spent. In regards to the findings concerning the policy for fuel credit cards, he says PIN numbers are given to every employee. However, when employees no longer work, it is the human resources job to remove the PIN numbers from the list. Apparently the timing of it uh, was off to where when the auditors came in, there were still some terminated employees that had PIN numbers. That doesn't necessarily mean that they can use the cards but it's just not a very accurate fuel card um, hmm. um, deal. So. Tuesday, there will be a special meeting where the council and the auditors will address the findings in more detail. Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10. Rodrigo, thank you. We attempted to contact several council members for reaction to the findings, two whose phones went to voicemail and a third who declined comment pending more discussion and information.